Need to include some code in your markdown? Fence code blocks are probably the best way to do this, as they offer nice rendering and can even support syntax highlighting. Let's take a look at using fenced code blocks. So in my example markdown file, I have a few lines of code here. And right now, these are just going to be rendered as plain text, so they're not going to look very nice. However, if I want these in instead to be rendered as code, I can go and create a fence code block to contain them. So to define a fence code block, at the start of my code, I'm going to write three backticks. So three backtick characters here. And then at the end of my code block, I'm going to add another three backticks. So three backticks at the end of my code block here. We've now defined a fenced code block. So again, starting with three backticks and then ending with three backticks. And the fence code block can even contain blank lines. Now when we open up the markdown preview, so let's go and see what the rendered markdown will look like, you can see that the code is now being rendered as a monospace font. So this is more like what you get in a code editor. The exact rendering will vary depending on what sort of viewer you're using and what sort of markdown renderer you're using. But in VS Code, you can also see that it's created a background that is making it very clear that this is code and not just part of the normal text. However, you'll see that we still don't have syntax highlighting. So let's go and add that. Back in our text, let's go and update our fence code block to tell Markdown that this is a block of JavaScript code. Now, the exact syntax for this is non-standard, but it is fairly consistent across different Markdown engines. And the syntax I'll show works on places like Stack Overflow and GitHub, for example. So at the start of our fence code block, we're going to tell the Markdown engine that we are writing JavaScript code. We can do that just by putting the language name right after the three opening backticks. I can do JavaScript here. And you can see that VS Code is even going to update the rendering in our text file to now have syntax highlighting. If I open the preview, you'll see that we also get that nice syntax highlighting over there. Now, most Markdown engines also let you use shorthand. So instead of using the full language name, so JavaScript in this case, we could actually say JS. And now we should get the same syntax highlighting both in the editor and over here in the preview as well. The exact language names you can use and that support syntax highlighting does vary depending on where you're writing the markdown. So this syntax, again, with using JS or JavaScript, that will work fine on GitHub and uh, in Stack Overflow. But if you're wanting to use a different language, you'll have to look up the correct identifier for that. And the place where it's being rendered may not support every single language. So just keep that in mind when you're going and adding these language identifiers. So that's a quick look at fenced code blocks in Markdown.